fought, I have to fought, I have to fought. Last week was Fashion Week. My God, Egypt, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh yeah, I know Anna. <laughs> comes back here like fucking royalty. I'll introduce you. Nah, I'll leave you to Caesar. Just give me a bottle of champagne, eh? This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking movie from a fucking slum. You act cool with me? What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What do you fucking do it, man? About what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit, people. Fuck them, people get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Fabio! Fabio! Ah, my nigga! Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginner's phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later I had some company on the dance floor. His name was Claudio. I found out later he was a pretty big shot soccer player for the Galatians. Some nearly superstar just back from Europe. The usual. Scored goals, scored girls. The only box he'd be getting into now was the one he'd be leaving in.
Next up, Paolo's favorite bodyguard. How's it going, bro? It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiano. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find God. the girls. Got it. They, they came out of there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. We can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Expensive enough to be Fabiana's. Her fashion sense didn't leave a whole lot of room for imagination, let alone food. The girl sure knew how to draw the eye, and maybe that was the problem. But at least I was heading in the right direction. <laughs> Still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. Tell of this trendy hellhole some shared habits. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a bit of class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max! I can't leave 
leave you alone for five minutes. What the hell happened in there? They jumped us. Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls and, and Marcelo. But he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, look, there they are. Come on, quick, get after them! Are you crazy? You can't just leave her! Max, you gotta do something! Come on! Get the rifle back there! 